friends and they're everyone in my life is my pawn everyone does exactly what I want them to do so everyone's tired and everyone's ready to like start swifting and knitting but I'm making them show the stash from Rhinebeck right now who wants to go first me go <laughs> okay so this is 100% merino wool with glitter gonna be a hat so cute <laughs> and say where it's from oh this um, is from Peterbrook farm and this is from the Dragonfly, and this is called the Candy Cane Color, and this is also just Merino. I love that it's Candy Cane Color. Me too. That's what do you make of that? I want to make a scarf. Okay. We'll see. It. It's just pretty. Okay. My Wait, turn? Did you just steal one No. <laughs> oh, it's yours. <laughs> I have <laughs> Ariel's. You go. Okay. So, <laughs> since I haven't finished using the yarn that I purchased last year, I bought other things. <laughs> <laughs> so, I bought some pocket hand salve uh, from Lulu Love, flavor Hookah Girl. So good. <laughs> you know, yes. right? Awesome. Yeah. And it fits right in your coin purse. Okay, and then I purchased some local honey from my new favorite farmer at Fiddlehead Farms in Rhinebeck, New York. And then, for the first time in all the times I've been going to the Sheep and Wool Festival, I purchased a Sheep and Wool Festival t-shirt. <laughs> and it's super soft. I'm glad you got that because I was very critical of the logo this year. Oh, but seeing it on the black, I cute. like it better. It's better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I almost chose the plum. Shh, don't tell her. No, but I like it. And now I understand these buttons where people have those buttons with that right. sheep on it. It's right, right. Oh. This is like the, oh, the sheep logo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Okay, since 1980. 80. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Okay, okay so... I got from Dragonfly Fibers, I got Headless Horseman. It was the Rhinebeck That's what color. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> um, I just want to be in charge of coming up with the names. I know. <laughs> it's a good one. That's the best name. From, ooh, where is this from? A Touch of Twist, mm -hmm. some alpaca. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love them. And and that's my favorite part. part. Yeah. That's a And more heavy. alpaca. Ooh, Long Island pretty. Livestock <gasps> Company. Oh, you we can't start last year. It's got sparkle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, but that's bulky weight. Bulky. The ones we've gotten before is more like DK or less. Yeah, mm -hmm. love the bulky. Mm -hmm. Um, this is plant dyed yarn from Fibercraft Studio, and I also got a pom pom magazine, my first one. So, some new patterns. Hopefully, tackling sweaters. Soon. And we met Pom and Pom. Yeah. She's like, we're Pom and Pom. That's cool. Which I, I don't know why they're in my mind. Pom. I was like P A L M, and I'm standing at Pom and Pom <laughs> magazine. Like it's just now hitting me who I was talking to. I mean, I understood they were. Yeah. Like, Hello. Yeah, so, that was fun. Yeah. My turn. Yes. Okay, so I had seen these Gales art sock links before, and I I just think they're fun. I I, I haven't made a sock yet in my life. And maybe I never will. Like maybe I'll just keep it like this. I just think it it's like fun. an inspiration piece. Like you have right. this sparkly sock link, and then you make this pattern, and then you unravel it to make a sock that won't look anything like this. Just so you know. But I just love the idea of this, and so I knew I had to get my hands on one and meet Gail, which it was fun to meet Gail. That's yeah, one of the fun things about nice. about doing is you meet the people who make it. They're right. like, oh, I made that. Yeah. Then I'm also from the same place, the Plant Dyed Yarn Fiber Craft Studio. This was Plant Dyed, and I was like, this is so bright yellow, and it's Plant Dyed. I want that. I wonder if it's turmeric. Does it say? It was orange. Osage orange. Oh, oh. I never would have guessed. And she said that she left it in too long. Oh. She went away. She left and came back and was like, uh-oh. So her accident she is She likes my muted, I feel like. Yeah. Right. Right. Like, when you went there, it felt like an 80s living room in a good way. <laughs> yeah. Like, not a bad way. Then I got these from White Barn Farm because Paula, I had done an interview with her before and um, she's also on the Rhinebeck sweater video and I had never bought her yarn yet. So I thought these looked great together and I said to myself, I'm just going to add to my collection until I have enough and like make something because I just really like these two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are pretty. So I got those and then this is from a neighborhood. So we, Ariel and I have been eyeing Neighborhood Fiber Company for a long time and I always pass and never buy. and. I just did it today. This is called DuPont Circle. So they're all sort of named Ooh. after neighborhoods, which is 
really fun. Cute. Yeah. yeah DC. I just stayed in DuPont Circle recently. Did you? A couple weeks ago. Yeah. yeah. And I used to go, I think I worked in the theater near here, which yeah. is why I know DuPont Circle. And you probably know oh, DuPont Circle. Fun. Oh, yeah. Lots of um, eating establishments. That's right. <laughs> but this is like a fingering weight, uh, what do they call this? It's called, it was like rustic, yeah, rustic fingering. 440 yards. So guys, the moral of the story is I need to learn how to make socks. <laughs> yeah. Because, but but I, I might also look into like maybe a shawl pattern because this is fingering and there's mm -hmm. so many yards. It's like 440 yards. Uh, so this could be a really cool shawl like yeah. thing too. So maybe I'll make that with this. And then I got some also, this <laughs> Long Island Livestock is, is like the first time I discovered alpaca and I love her. Awesome. I love Tabitha. I love her yarn. We talked extensively today about what we're going to do next year. So we're going to do a video on shearing alpaca. Ooh. And, um, you know, and maybe more. But this, I think, might look cool in my penguano, which is why I bought it, because I've been doing really bulky penguano. And she threw in some shepherdess body butter for me, because we're friends now. And then I met this great lady, uh, Knit Style Yarns. She was vlogging me while I was vlogging her. And she gave me two samples. Oh, oh cool. Mini skeins. She makes. I think so. I need, I'm going to research her more, but it says knitstyleyarns.com. This is deep sea rainbow, and this is pink pearl. This one has sparkle in it. There was a Ooh, lot of sparkle. I like both of them. Yeah, like the there sparkle. Was lots of sparkle. And we like the sparkle. And more bulkier stuff. Like, yes. Yeah. Because this one year, we were only looking for bulky in right. We could not find <laughs> So people are catching on that we want bulky. bulky. Right. Yeah. So that's our stash from Ryan. Thanks for coming with me. Of course. It was, it was oh, fantastic. Until next year. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>